good evening sir am i audible to you good evening yes, sir so we have first to go pratyusha can i see you pratyusha yes sir yeah good 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 okay so pratyusha welcome to our live session of assessment and i hope uh, it will be beneficial for you i will try and uh, assess you briefly and uh, give you a suggested road map uh, for for nda preparation written as well as the ssb fine yes sir okay so just confirm your marks in 10th 93.4% in yes, 11.6% and your final exam is over you are through with the exams or still something is left no no sir i am through with the exams you are through with the exams so when uh, was the last exam so 19th march 19th march so since then you are quite free now yes sir okay so you are getting uh, almost a month's time to prepare for your nda written exam that is on 21st april yes sir okay okay and your plan b is to go for je and then uh, you planning to do iit no sir no sir absolutely not uh, i would be uh, going for the graduation entries then you are going for engineering or not yes i am going for engineering but it's not really for the iits but for the for the graduation exam understood understood uh and uh, pratyusha what i have uh, i see here is uh, maybe just correct me if there is something wrong in that uh, your height is 161 cm that is some little more than Five feet three inches and little less than five feet four is that correct? Yes, sir. Weight forty six point five kgs, and maximum you can run is fifteen kilometers in one go. So it's not like uh, maximum. Maybe I can do more, but I haven't actually calculated the time and done any kind of distance as such. That was something no, in, approximate I did. No, in one go, if you run. so you can at a stretch you can go for 15 kilometers continuously yes sir as being a sports person i am used to with the exercises so i can okay okay and 30 to 50 push ups you can do in one go yes sir and 10 pull ups yes sir i am not very really strong in the pull ups but push ups i can but pull ups are too Uh, uh what is the sports that you are engaged with sir i am a first and black belt in karate karate and uh, what is the highest level you have competed at sir at national level national you got a gold medal yes sir uh in juniors yes sir uh, what was the weight category in which you competed in sir uh, usually i compete uh, within 45 or within 50 but as it was shadow fighting there was no weight category for that it was only age category okay okay very very fine and uh, uh, what's your father doing sir my father is an ex service man and now he is currently associated with cbsc it's a government private uh, sector for providing electricity in west bengal okay okay and your mother is working or not working no no sir she is a homemaker she is a homemaker and how many brothers and sisters are you sir i don't have any siblings no siblings you are the only child yes sir i am the only child and your parents are quite comfortable in sending you uh, to the defense services so more than eager sir maybe more than i am willing to and your inclination is not that much no sir definitely it is but uh, they too want their daughter to go and serve in the forces 
even if it's one. Okay, okay. And what is your first preference, uh, Army, Navy, or Air Force? Sir, Army. Army. And what's the reason for that? Sir, uh, first reason would be definitely that I myself feel very drawn towards the Indian Army. And the second would be fulfilling my father's shoes and continuing the service from our family into the forces. And what about your eyesight? Uh, what's the uh, power you are having? Sir, uh, I have uh, power in only one of uh, the eye. That is only one point, minus 1.5. Uh, and it's not really much. It can be corrected naturally because I don't have any disease or disorder attached to it. So it won't be a problem. Okay, very, very fine. And uh, how have your examinations gone? Sir, it has been very nice. And I'm expecting good schools. You're expecting to do well. Okay. So in PCM, which has been your best subject? Sir, actually, I had PCM B. And uh, in Say that... again? Sir, actually, I had PCM B. I had bio no, and I... PCM. You had PCM B? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so out of this, which was the best subject? Sir, I think bio. Bio. But you are planning to do engineering? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, in that, I would say chemistry. Understood, understood. Okay, fine. So, in uh, biology, uh, you know there is a human digestive system. You heard about it? Yes, sir. So, can you uh, tell me how the digestive process starts right from the uh, food you swallow in your mouth? How does it go? Can you tell me if, uh, about it? Yes, sir. So, First, we intake the food that is through mouth and we chew it along with the saliva that is being secreted from the salivary gland and the chewing and the intaking process is known as mastication. This, uh, this food that we have chewed undergoes through the, uh, uh, the, so there is the food tunnel where there is epiglottis that is uh, segregating the Food and I will stop food. you here. I will stop you here, Pratusha. Does some digestion start in the mouth itself or no? Sir, uh, yes, uh, no, sir, because there is no breaking down happening in our mouth. It's just the salivary gland mixing with the food and making it more labile, and that is letting it go. So what are the there, there is, is some, some uh, digestive uh, juice or something, or, or uh, you know, know, which is there in the saliva. saliva. What is it called? The saliva amylis. Hmm. I think saliva amylis. You heard of tylene? Yes. Sir. Spelled starts with a P. Yes, yes, sir. Is it there in the saliva or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is there. Okay, fine. So, it starts, some things happens in mouth, then what happens? So, it goes down the food pipe and then it's first to met by the, uh, it met uh, by the uh, uh, small intestine where some juices are secreted. Then it goes uh, by the uh, long intestine followed by which it's gone in the stomach where HCL is produced. Now this HCL broke, uh, breaks down the food into simpler substance, which is absorbed, uh, which is absorbed in the uh, intestines after it. And then the residues is, uh, uh, the residual portion of the one that we don't eat is uh, excreted. What is the role of the liver in the digestive mechanism? So it uh, produces bile juice that uh, breaks down, what does, down the complex substance. What does bile do? So it breaks down the complex substance. The bilirubin in it breaks down the complex substance into the simple one. And uh, the food in the stomach, it 
is is it in an acidic medium or alkaline medium sir it is an acidic medium which medium acidic medium acidic so from where from does this acid come sir from the xin that is being produced fine 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 and uh, do you know that is something known as photosynthesis yes sir what is this so photosynthesis is the process by which plants trap the sunlight and uh, uh, sunlight and air and all the needed particles and then prepare food from it can you tell me what is the equation what are the aspects involved what uh, you know molecules are involved in the reaction and what are the products sir i have to read on that ah uh, you are not remembering no sir i have to read on that okay uh, between physics and chemistry which subject was better for you chemistry sir chemistry okay okay so in chemistry have you heard of the periodic table yes sir you heard okay fine how are the elements arranged in the periodic table what is the basis sir so, so the elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic number increasing atomic masses uh So uh, one by one, any increasing atomic uh, masses and number elements. So, uh, what is the difference between atomic number and mass number? Sir, atomic number is the numbers of protons uh, that is present in the uh, element or in the atom, whereas atomic masses is the sum of the protons plus neutrons. what is an isotope sir isotope are the elements that has similar atomic uh, that have a uh, similar atomic number but different atomic masses similar or same the same same yes sir so uh, is the element same or the element is also changing no sir the element is same same as as very and uh, how are you helpful at home sir i help my mom in the daily works like filling the water bottles and maybe cleaning something and maybe bringing something that she needs from the market or any of those any sort of work she assigns me okay and your father sir my father again if he needs any help in the work in his office work or any sort of work that he uh, needs me to do in uh, his behalf i help him in that way and how many friends do you have sir i have many friends who are your close friends Uh, sir in my close friend i have uh, srishti and sriparno srishti and piparno no sir sriparno it's a bengali it name sir sir sriparno okay i have probably is a tongue twister for me okay they both are girls no sir one of them is girl one of them is a boy the second one is a boy okay yes sir fine fine and how have you been helpful to your friends sir uh, i help them in studies uh, in sports in any games or anything maybe they need any kind of material or any uh, information they need from the school or for the tuition and how have they been helping you so they help me in my studies they help me knowing uh, information from various places any sort of exams we are having they let me know they help me through it they help me with my preparation 
and what have been your major achievements so far in the field of academics or extracurricular activities? Sir, in my academics, I would say my 10th marks, they were really nice to me. Also, I have uh, gotten like felicitations from my school for being all-rounder. And I got uh, medals in Olympiads, including a gold medal in Cyber Olympiad. Whereas in sports, I would say that, yes, definitely the gold medals I get in several championships and my black belt recently that I have got. Also, dif uh, different medals and trophies that I have received uh, in various teams, be it gymnastics or acrobats or yoga that I have done. And in that, I would say uh, in dance competitions, I have performed in national level. So, there were some competitions that would be my biggest opportunity. What dance competition you have done, uh, competed at national level? Sir, uh, there are several championships uh, and maybe reality shows and sort of reality shows where I have participated in both the styles, classical and classical. So there very I won nice. first prize. Very nice, very nice. And uh, in your opinion, what aspects do you think will hold you from getting, uh, clearing the India written examination or getting selected, the SSB? Sir, so I don't believe there is any negative feedback coming from myself right now that might hold me from achieving what I am aiming for. But if there is something, I would definitely uh, remove or eradicate it within the time period I am appearing for the examination of what is Uh, In the SSB, when you go, the first thing that will test, which will take place, is going to be a test of reasoning. Are you aware of it? Yes, sir. Uh, have you have tried solving that test? test? No, sir, I haven't no, sir, tried to I to I As for now, but I know what comes, but I haven't tried it. Okay, okay. Very, very fine. Okay. Pratusha, in the brief talk that uh, we have had, I have done your brief assessment. As things stand now, your communication skills are absolutely fine. Your English is quite adequate. Your reasoning ability and practical sense are quite fine. Uh, your physical fitness is very good, actually. It's not just adequate, very good. Uh, you are a good athlete, that's a very plus point. Uh, socially, you are quite fine. You are quite a responsible person. Uh, since you have been a sports person, you are quite uh, well disciplined and systematic in your life. Your academic understanding is also quite okay. Uh, so overall speaking, uh, you need to get little more clarity in understanding your academics. Fine, make out your plan. One month is a reasonable time for you to prepare for the written exam. Set out your priorities. Do a mock test, you know, of seeing the past paper. See how you are performing in the given time. Okay. Do practice for the reasoning test. Once you are through with the written exam. Till then it is not required. Till then focus on the written do work on your general knowledge because that aspect as of now would not be up to the mark. You will need to focus on that. So these are the things, Pratyusha, which you need to do. Make out a plan. Have a daily routine which you follow systematically and do the things in a regular manner so that you are able to clear the written examination comfortably, which I feel you can do. If you have a, uh, make out a good plan for yourself and clearing SSB should also not be a big deal for you. So broadly speaking, this is the assessment. This is what you need to do. 
any queries you have sir i don't uh, have such queries but uh, i i just wanted to ask you like is it fine or what uh, really i have to work on myself i told you little bit clarity in understanding of your academics focus on your general knowledge uh, reasoning do solve and see how it is but that will come later at the moment not required till the time written examination is there and balance other things are do watch uh, our video on the screening process it will give you clarity fine so this is all you should be able to make it there is just no problem you are a competent girl things should work out anything else you are most welcome and thanks for your time too because i requested you to come and talk to me you know what happened prithvisha there was lot of students have been asking me as to what uh, should be the advice uh, for them for preparing for the written examination as well as the ssb when the time is uh, you know not that much in their hand so that is why i got uh, i requested uh, three of you to come on this platform and when i speak to you live cases then you know i am able to give a brief overview and it will also give you an understanding that there is no one size fit all solution every individual is unique his or her needs and the priorities to focus upon would be different depending upon that person's level so that is what it is so in my view you should be able to clear the written exam as also the ssb should not be any problems anything else prithvisha Okay good luck we on listening